my deepest secret is I got molested by my father's friend. Akasema tu mnilete ule mwenye ni rafiki yangu mwenye napendanga. Sometimes ange make a joke akikujoko kwetu that I was his wife. Tukaanza kulala na yeye. Hi guys, it's a girl Sly with the Ultimate Confession Show, where the weight of your secret meets the power of your courage. We encourage individuals to share their deepest secret and tell their untold stories and unburden the weight on their souls. This is my deep secret. My deep secret is that uh, my deepest secret. My deep is. secret is. My deep secret is. My deepest secret is. My deepest secret is that. My deepest secret is. My deepest secret is. My deep secret is my deep secret is my deepest secret is I got molested by my father's friend alikuwa boss wa babangu but they were good friends na alipenda kutu visit sana huko kwetu na every time alikuja angetuletea anga gifts so there was this one time ilikuwa december holiday aka to invite twende kwake my mom akutaka kwenda huko juu alikuwa ameka long bila kwenda kwao so insisted that yeye lazima aende kwao christmas and uh, so the guy my father's friend aka insist lazima aka insist mimi niende akasema tu mnilete ule mwenye ni rafiki yangu mwenye napendanga because sometimes ange make a joke akikujoko kwetu that i was his wife na angeniletea a better gifts better gifts than zao wengine Sasa nyali tu invite bomba mamangu akakata pia my sisters wakasema wanataka kwenda na mamangu so ika chance tukaenda mimi na babangu peke yake kwa hiyo rafiki yake penye alikuwa anaishi so kufika huko rafiki yake alikuwa na a big compound so sometimes my dad could go kwa hiyo angeenda kuona venye wakazi wake wanafanya huko kwa farm and that time the, the friend ange take advantage of me so ange nita anze kunishika shika fani fani so that time ndio nilikuja ku realize amekuwa attracted na mimi at that time nilikuwa form two so tena the next day too anytime akipata any free time kama my dad you go around ange nishika shika tu hivyo so mimi nilikuwa naibika kuambia my dad juu maybe i thought aezi niamini eh ama tuna ni kama nadanganya so sikuona kama naweza mwambia siku feel free kumwambia so ikaendelea hivyo tuka tukarudi to home kama nimenyamazia sasa kufika nikiwa form to my dad unfortunately passed away na rafiki yake aka offer sa ku, kutusomesha ya yeah, and my mom akakubali juu my mom was unemployed na angeweza kutusomesha sisi wote so my the friend akaofa kutupeleka shule so sometimes tukikuja holiday from our school ningeenda kwa my father's friend kuishi na yeye na by that time alikuwa ameoa so tungelala na yeye tukaanza kulala na yeye but the wife akuwa ijua yeye alikuwa tu ananikaribisha kwake akijua ni mtoto mwenye bwana yake ana support so tukaanza kulala na huyo bwana yake for a long, a long time tunalala tuna yeye ananiambia tulale na yeye na singeweza kukata juu maybe niliona nikiweza kataa anaweza acha kutusupport na we really needed the support tukaendelea hivyo kulala na yeye nika nikatufanya abortions mbili za boli yake so ikafika point nikasema maybe the abortions are going to affect me in future nikachukua pills that could prevent any pregnancy the at least nipunguze hizo abortions sasa sasa hii i'm done with university and i feel like siezi si penda mtu mwingine kama si yeye i can't even date and i don't know how to go about it like ni yeye tu napenda napenda tu wa babas peke yake i can't date small boys naona ni kama tu we can't that's my story